who, um, who's the, who gets the most scared? Me. Who's the most stubborn? John. So that's good stubborn, probably. I don't know if it's good. The, mo the most courageous? John. The most vain? Benny. But it's a photo finish. <laughs> Between all three. <laughs> the most uh, happy with himself? The most happy with himself. Who's the most content with himself? Yeah. Who is, is most comfortable with himself? I would say... Uh, I, would, I would probably say John. Yeah. The most handsome? Ah, uh, me. The most charming? Ah, uh, me. The most uh, dirty old man? Ah, uh, nobody. The most uh, Italian? Uh, Benny. The most Greek? John. And the most Jewish? Me. <laughs> <laughs> and the more, the um, happiest, the merriest? The merriest, the happiest, yes. as opposed to an even-handed contentment, you mean. Uh, I would say that for me, me, yeah, me. And the saddest? I don't think, I don't find any of us sad. Ils étaient trois, trois photographes à Air France, Roland Briens, Asia et Philippe Formaison, à venir attendre au pied de l'échelle les stars du monde entier avec leur relais flex. Jour après jour et pendant 30 ans, ils ont accumulé quelques 2000 clichés. Ils ne cherchaient pas à faire de l'art ni à voler des images, juste à capter un sourire ou un geste d'adieu. Acteurs et metteurs en scène, vedettes éphémères ou couples célèbres, aucun n'a échappé au rituel. Les uns partaient tourner au bout du monde ou en revenaient, les autres allaient présenter un film dans un festival. C'était le temps des DC4 et des super constellations et il fallait plus de 14 heures pour traverser l'Atlantique. Regardez bien, il n'y a plus aujourd'hui ni passerelle, ni photographe en bout de piste pour guetter les stars en transit.
always lived in New York. I was born in New York. It's my uh, favorite city. I've lived in uh, Hollywood, but uh, not very happily. I don't like it very much. Why? Well, it's flat. It's uh, sort of uh, every street looks like the street to the airport. There is no city. There's no center. Not cosmopolitan. It's not exciting. It's like living in the suburbs. But it's, for you, it's possible for an actor to live in New York. It's not a problem. There are no films made in uh, California, really. They're made all over the world now. So an actor can live anywhere with great uh, freedom. So I live in New York, and I travel a great deal. I enjoy traveling. You travel for work also a lot? Well, that's what I travel for, really. Actually, I've been making a great many films in Europe recently. Actually, I think you are a little bit more famous or even more loved in Infamous. Europe. Infamous. More famous in, in Europe than in America, aren't you? I don't know. I hope so. I enjoy Europe. Matter of fact, I've been spending, oh, five, six months of the year in Europe. So I have a great life. I have Manhattan, the island of Manhattan, and I have all of Europe. Well, I've always been outside the system. I prefer working with artists like Cassavetes and Peter Bogdanovich and their kind of films uh, probably are not uh, easily digested in the United States. They're not those popular films you speak about. So, uh, interestingly enough, the European public uh, seems to respond to Cassavetes and Bogdanovich more than the American public does.